Alright, well, today we're going to be taking a look at a uh, video, and this is going to be a tier list of ranking every uh, blaster or blaster line of Fire Astro. Now, I'm going to make a little disclaimer that I'm not going to be including some of the other lines like such as like some of the sub-series like such as like for example the impact zone for dune lands or the modulus clear line or something like that and also I'm not going to also include like the laser ops, the, some of the marble line type of series. I'm not going to be including them. I'm just going to be including some of the uh, some of the lines that have like somewhat of uh, somewhat of uh, that has like some unique blasters or something like that. But um yeah, other than that, uh, let's get started. So, I kind of want to start out with probably the, uh, I'll just go, like, in order, I guess. So, first up, Acne Strike. I would probably rank this a at. Let's see, we have the Raptor Strike, the Alpha Hawk, the Falcon Fire. Uh, honestly, I'd probably put this at A tier. Just simply because. Just the fact that, well, first off, they made the Yaki Strike darts, and this is. Uh, the Aki Shark darts are probably one of the more accurate type of uh, darts in the game. Well, not, why am I saying the game? Okay, cut. Um, no, but in the line, I would probably say out of every line besides Rival and Vortex, um, the Aki Shark darts. Probably by far one of the more accurate, or probably the most accurate type of darts. And it is competing with some of the uh, third company type of darts, such as the Adventure Force or Rough Head Darts, which I kind of will say that I still recommend getting this for the Acne Strike Darts, just because they could be cheaper in that way. You can act Thanks for all that matter. Because the only problem with Acu Strike Darts is just the price point. And that's just the only problem with it. Um, what's the name? Which is why I kind of put it at A tier. It's almost perfect. Most of the blasters, pretty flawless. I kind of would say only one blaster, probably one or two blasters that are, are kind of terrible. That would be the Falcon Fire and also the Talon Strike, I think. I think other than that, I think everything else is pretty good, like the, the Shadowhawk, and the Rapid Strike reskin. I actually recently got one for Christmas. Um, yeah, I actually love the Shadowhawk. Yeah, I, I have a Raptor Strike. I have one that doesn't have that little weird clear still thing. Uh, I actually had like put some hot glue on it. So they're pretty neat blasters, but yeah, without further ado, that was actually. Next is a sorry, what it's called. This line I kind of would be putting it at C tier, probably an average list. They don't have a lot of blasters out there, like you have the Insidious or whatever that blaster is called. Uh, I don't know, but some of the blasters 
and that line is kind of weird looking, and of course, the darts are another winky of every darts, which is not great, they're just awful. But, um, yeah, it is kind of a weird line. Uh, I don't know how someone, I don't know why would you like that, but um, it's okay for it. It's, uh, it's a roll. Next is Alpha Strike. Now, I'm gonna put this ID tier. Most of the blasters in Alpha Strike is quite terrible. Like, recently you got the uppercut, which is the Worst jolt reskin. <laughs> like, why does that even exist? Now, I have to admit, there are some blasters that I do like, such as the Hammer Storm, and some actually may say the flight is, uh, some may actually, some people actually do argue and say the flight is a really good blaster, a really good strike blue shell. I'm not really sure about that, but, um, I'm not trying to get any, I'm not trying to confuse anybody or anything like that, but, uh, yeah, but, um, most of the blasters in that line are just quite terrible. And I think the only one cool thing about Alpha Strike is just simply the fact that, um, if I remember correctly, they actually do sell, like, really good targets or something like that, but other than that, most of the blasters are quite terrible, but quite I wouldn't say they're terrible, but they do work. But I, I just don't find myself seeing a them. And then therefore, it's all that matters. Um, I know this isn't one of the same series, it's just a arcane series. Honestly, what is that? Um, I mean, there's some blasters that. And the best thing, which is such as the rough cut, the strike, and also the battle scout. I think the battle scout is a more improved version of its own counterpart, which is the, uh, the modulus one, which was very terrible due to the. <laughs> it, it was bad. I mean, if you want to go look at reviews of it, just, just search it up and, and you'll see what I'm talking about. But, um,. I think the reshells and the paint, um, and the, the paint, the repaints of the rough cut and also strike, they're pretty phenomenal. You actually see a lot of people, that uh, use, they actually buy the, the battle cannon stripes and actually use them on your, um, my kits. But you, you will be seeing a lot of people that have that on their arsenal. Unfortunately, I only have like a, a, a regular elite strike. It's not modded or anything like that. It's just plain uh, Oh gosh. <laughs> Dano Squad, you already know where this going. That's <laughs> here. Why I, I have no clue why this exists. I'm not even interested right off the bat in this line. I mean you really think that Hasbro I think the the but it's just worse than um, some of its other uh, predecessors or uh, some of the recent lines that have been actually coming and don't even get me started about the modding I don't even know if you're actually um, you can actually fix them It is a very terrible line. I, I don't really see myself actually just... I don't understand how it's cool. But, uh... Yeah, it's, it's kind of terrible for what it is. And, uh, don't get me wrong, it's cool looking and stuff like that. But, but other than that, still selling dirts. Only dirts. Terrible. I will, Doom Lands, I'll probably put that as average. No, Doom Lands is not bad. 
fully with it too, but the, some of the blasters are not bad by all means, like the Negotiator. Yeah, yeah, but uh, there are some more knockoffs such as the Negotiator, the Persuader, and, and yeah, but, um, but you, at the same time, you do have some pretty good blasters such as the Wallbringer. I haven't realized of how I really thought the Wallbringer was trash. But, um, it really isn't. It's actually one of the best blasters in the game. It's kind of like a, like a, some bit of a hammer shot, but, uh, double the capacity. And you also get the, the judge. The judge is a really, really, <laughs> I actually have that as one of my Christmas gifts. It's a really intimidating blaster. The Desolator, which is probably, um, one of the fastest firing strike three skins. Pretty cool to throw out the darts for an impact zero mine. But it looked really amazing. Now, don't get me wrong, I actually did have some glow the dark green darts, and I guess I just a shark and paint them. <laughs> I think the tip black to make some impact zone darts. I mean that's just this show you how like cheap the the repaints are, but you can barely just use a sharpie or whatever you want to use and just literally just repaint them that way. But, that person, it just doesn't make any sense, but, without further ado, yeah, uh, Game Man's pretty average for what's intended. I mean, it's not as terrible. Now, yeah, it's not popular, I would say most blasters are pretty underrated, you don't really see them a lot, but they're not bad, by all means. Elite 2.0, yeah, F tier, oh my gosh, the only one thing I like about Elite 2.0 is at least they're doing the double the darts, I think the double the darts and all um, the looking of most blasters, they look pretty nice. Other than that, a lot of things I can say. For one, you can't even mind the blasters. If, I mean, you can, but it's really hard to do it. Second, I mean, you can't even repair or um, you can't even fix the blasters. Just simply due to the fact that it's all like clipped and glued up. No screws whatsoever. They make some screws, but it's just clicked and glued together, and, and just most of the blasters, like, don't even get me started in the warden. It's like the new worst blaster. I would prefer a deployer for that, for all that matter. Or even the uppercut. And the reason why I say that is because it's slam fire capability. It's just terrible. I've heard a lot of people saying about the shockwave being terrible. It's a little debate because I do have some little defense of the shockwave because I noticed that the surge fire. Um, I think a lot of people don't like the shockwave because the it doesn't have slam fire. Now there is a little backup type of um, debate going on, and I'm kind of part of it. And the reason uh, the shockwave shouldn't have slam fire is because there were some problems with slam fire mechanic on the search fire, uh, and is that sometimes the, um, some, sometimes the darts will skip for all that matter, so I think that's why they actually change it the way it is, but I think, uh, but I also heard from the reports just recently that that is actually fixed, so there's kind of a reason to buy this blaster in the first place. I think another th I thing I like about the League 2.0 is it's just the amount of tactics you can just <laughs> the amount of tactics you can actually um put on. But yeah, the other than that, the the League 2.0 is terrible. As you can see, I have I don't have no blasters. I have not bought not even one blaster. I know I can go at Walmart or or. Yeah, I can go to Walmart or Target and get a blaster and right now, but I do not want to because it's terrible. It, it should not exist. 
Alright. So, uh, the module still stops pretty average. I think I know that's, that's good as it is. Um, once again, I kind of will say that it is kind of a, a middle school series of modules, which I probably got into when we were speaking of modules. I would probably put it as to pretty phenomenal. Um, I, I think um, the reason why I put Ghost Labs, uh, actually, no, I mean, I thought I put it too. Now, there's only probably like one or two blasters that's in the Ghost Labs series, and that's the, the Shadow and also the Evader. I will say that I have recently gotten Evader. It is a very, very good blaster. I actually love the Evader. The Shadow, on the other hand, it's not that great in the performance, it's just terrible. So, yeah, um, the, the uh, Eater is a really good blaster. Now, going back to the modulus, very, very, I, I don't even know what to say for modulus. Okay, so, first off, you got a ton of blasters that are pretty good. You have the modulus, the some of the blasters such as uh, the Recon Mark II, the I mean, there's a lot of blasters that are really good. And not only that, there are some attachments that are just like super tactical, like there's grip blasters, like you can barely have like grips that you can shoot that are actually blasters, you can have a stock as a blaster, a barrel as a blaster, there's so much about the module line, it's just super phenomenal what Hasbro actually did uh, over the past few years, but yeah, module is just S tier, there's no doubt about it. Glow Strike, I kind of will put this as C tier for what the S tends to do. Not the green side, I kind of will say it's, it's not bad by all means, but um, the darts, they're probably the new glow in the dart, darts. Um, I'm not sure if you actually need to use them in sunlight or if they actually glow by default, but um, yeah. That's that's where it's that's how it's going. Icon series S tier. Actually, I'll put a D tier. Wait. Hmm. 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 Because it is pretty terrible. I'm not gonna lie. I, I do like how they actually the they make the reshells of the OG um, blasters like the long shot specter. But at the same time, I mean, there, there is kind of improvements, but so it's pretty terrible. So, honestly, I kind of put it D tier. Just, it is pretty awful, but, um, yeah. I mean, I kind of like how they actually uh, make them a good show. And also, it is kind of a bit, a slight bit improved over the listening some of the its original counterparts. So yeah. Mega, I kinda would say it is a bit average. I think Mega is a bit average for what it is. I think when it was first launched, you got this Tyrion, the Thunderbolt, and the Magnus. I think the Magnus was at, at first probably the best blaster. The Tyrion pretty terrible. I think, but um, I don't know, you may have to do some modding or whatever, but I think the main drawback of Mega is their darts. They're really, really terrible, very inaccurate. Now, the only one part I want to look like about Mega is just the darts, how they whistle. Um, they do have Active Strike darts, but they're pretty expensive, um, and I, I recommend getting, uh, a lot of people have been recommending getting Accupate darts, the Mega Accupates. Now, I think the one difference, the only difference is between the Mega Accupate and the 
it's true that many edges shape starts make heat fires are faster um, other than the than the, the acubics because the acubics are very high year and have like a little bit of low performance not as not as low they're not as low because don't get me wrong they're stupidly accurate and you also have come at a cheaper price and you also get them at a reasonable cost um well you do get quite a bit um for the mega extra that they're thinking and you kind of don't get a lot of them and they're just kind of i wouldn't say rare but they're just expensive but, um, other than that i think most of the megahertz not mega, mega blasters they're not bad by all means but uh um, Ultra P tier. I kind of put it in terrible. Now I know I should have put this at F tier, and a lot of people just don't like Ultra just because it is very, very terrible. The their darts. I kind of will say it. I think how it all started with the Ultra one is why nobody likes Ultra. Um, is why nobody liked Ultra. Um, and, uh, but, uh, there were some blasters that are really good, as such as the two. I don't really like the two a lot, because, uh, it's a flywheel blaster. I think flywheels and ultra darts, they just don't go together. They're just super inaccurate. The springers are probably your best option, such as your ultra three, the pharaoh, the ultra four, the five. I actually have ultra four. By all means, I think the Screamers are probably a better alternative, and they're a tiny bit more accurate than the uh, Ultra Darts because I can't get duck in the Ultra Darts. But um, the Screamers are by far a bit, a bit more accurate than the, the Ultra Darts, and also they whistle. Very good, no. But another reason why then there's not a lot of people like Ultra and like to like to talk crap about it is the lie that that's what tend to be blue. 120 B. Yeah, like flat. You know, yeah, as long as you angle it, then yeah, you can actually hit 120 B. But um, I think the only flywheel blaster you may have yeah, that's from the recommend gaming is the Dorado. I mean, that's terrible. Nitro. <laughs> why? The, I don't know why they actually try to make foam. A foam cars are flopping, flopping cars. I don't know. I don't know why that exists. I don't know. Elite, pretty amazing line. There are a lot of blasters. There are quite a bit of blasters that are pretty good. And we got the strong arm, the disruptor is pretty better. The infinite is pretty good blaster. I think the only one part that kind of sets the elite line off is their darts. Other than that, I think most of the blasters they have for the elite line is it's pretty good. I also do want to put the Fortnite line just eh, C tier. Um just for honorable mention there. Um but yeah once again it can be better. Um Okay, so I kind of did so that I did not want to uh, include this in the homework one, but uh, I just put a D tier. There's only one blaster that I will say that that is pretty good, that's the Thor Hammer. Or I think you can actually like, um, shoot like different types of ammo, uh, like uh, your family, um, missing, such as like Mega Darts, Ultra, Rifle, etc. Um, yeah, sugar cane is just a little bit, but yeah. But other than that, most of the stuff is terrible. Rebel, C tier. Actually, because there are some blasters that are pretty good. It's once again just average by all means. It's, um, it's average by all means. 
but uh, the thing with uh, the devil is that I think the one part that just stepped it off is I mean, I don't know, I think people who care it's all girly and stuff like that, but most of the flashes in the film is pretty okay. Um, yeah. Rival, S tier. There's no, there's no doubt about Rival being S tier. I mean, <laughs> there's a lot of reasons to do Nerf um, has the to Rival to a whole new level. You've got the Artemis, the Hades, the Percy. Nemesis. I mean, I can go on, and most of the flashes are actually named from Greek gods, which is a interesting thing about the Bible. But yeah, Vortex. I kind of will say that it's E tier. I mean, it's it's a okay. It's okay by all means. Um, it's okay for by all means, but I think the only reason why I kind of looked at a film here um, is because of the fact that Vortex is super underrated. Not even a joke. Vortex is really underrated, and I mean, I, I love Vortex. I, I, the thing is that the disc 